So what is a bearing? A bearing is effectively an angle. However, it has a few properties to it that make it somewhat special. Okay? So three things go with bearings. Firstly, they are always measured from north. Okay, that's the first thing. Secondly, they are always measured clockwise. Okay, so we're always going from north and always moving clockwise. And thirdly, they are always measured in three figures. So we would be asked to give a three-figure bearing, for example. So let's say that we have a town that is at point A. Okay? And what we've done is we've drawn a north line. So you can imagine this uh, whiteboard being a big map. And over here is another town. We're going to call that B. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from A to B to make this clearer. Okay? So let's say that we measure this angle. So we're going to measure it from north and we're going to measure it clockwise. And let's say that the angle we get is 40 degrees. Okay? Then what we could be asked is... What is the bearing of B from A? Now, it is this bit that is very important. The fact that you are stood at A. So you need to make sure you read this very carefully. If you're told, what is, or you're asked, what is the bearing of B from A, then you are at A, and you want to know how to get to B. If it's what is the bearing of A from B, then I am at B, and I want to get to A. They are different problems. So I'm at A, okay, and what, I need, what I'm insinuating is that I am now pointing north. And the bearing is effectively an instruction that tells me how to turn and get to be pointing at B. So I know that I need to turn 40 degrees clockwise from north. And all of that information is put into a bearing. So we're taking it from north, it is clockwise, and it is measured in three figures. So we don't just write 40 degrees. It must be three figures, three numbers. And if it's less than 100, we're just going to stick a zero on the front. And that makes it a three-figure bearing, which tells me that I need to move 40 degrees from north so that I am now pointing at B. So effectively, bearings are often used in you know, getting from A to B, effectively, uh, with orienteering, and obviously using maps um, before SatNav came along. So they might seem a little archaic.